The aim of the Pioneer Award is to fund highly innovative, high-risk, cutting-edge science with the potential for impact on cancer patients. The problem of cancer is huge, uh, and you need ideas to tackle a problem of that scale. And these ideas won't necessarily come from a narrow field within medicine. You need to look broader than that into all types of disciplines and try and bring the innovation that's out there to bear on the problem of cancer. We've assembled an extremely diverse panel of demonstrated innovators, people who have had highly creative, highly innovative ideas in the past are likely the, the best to judge whether an idea is highly innovative in the future. I came from an engineering background developing chemical sensors for military applications. We now use these same sensors uh, in a cancer breathalyzer to help diagnose patients early. And I think that's the type of innovation that we're trying to find from others in the Pioneer Award. When we were on the panel on pitch day, uh, it was tremendously exciting. And for the winners, the thing that really stood out was the degree of innovation. Using E. coli, salmonella to help fight cancer. Uh, and one award where you could use a palladium pellet implanted in the brain after surgery to stop uh, brain tumors coming back again. The Pioneer Award is revolutionary in the sense that it doesn't require you to have a lot of data. It's a very simple two-page application. All you have to do is convince us that you've got a great idea, and then you'll show up and you'll explain it to us in a short pitch. We'll give awards out three times a year. That means that the longest it can take from the time when you have the idea to the time when you know whether you're funded or not is four months, because innovative, creative ideas are ideas that need to be acted on fast. My hope for the Pioneer Award is someone comes in and tells us an idea that sounds crazy, but in 5, 10, 15 years time it's been used routinely uh, to help the lives of cancer patients around the world.